Hi everybody, Aaron here with another Microspot lesson for you, this time on how to set up the correct scale and units in MacDraft. One of MacDraft's big selling points is its fully scaled drawing environment. What this means is that you can accurately draw huge projects such as a vibrant garden plan, but still print it easily on an A4 page without losing any of the accuracy. You can find the scale and unit settings in the menu bar via Layout, Set Scaling Units. Here you will see a pop-up with all of the information you need. You can select metric or English units, choose a preset or create your own custom scale, open the dimension standards to fine tune your document settings such as tolerances, or you can set what is displayed when you create an angular dimension. Once you are happy with your settings hit OK. Notice that the rulers in the document update to your current scale settings. Let's take a look at a common scenario in CAD. I have opened this file from a client who wants it to be changed to 1 25th scale. We can see that it's currently at 1 to 10 scale so let's change that. Once I've changed it I can delete the excess pages and I'm left with the kitchen elevation at 1 25th scale, fitting nicely on one page. While we're talking about scale it's important to know that every layer in Mac Draft can be set to its own scale. Here I can add a new layer and change it back to the original 110 if I wanted to. Or if I know that my frame size is to be A4 I can add a new layer at 1 to 1. So now you know how to set up your document with the correct scale and units. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you again soon in the next Microspot lesson.